Okay, so when you're saying positive or negative, I mean, is it your software that can somehow look at the words to detect whether it's positive or negative? Because usually you need human people to, to read. To code it and say this one's positive, yes. this one's negative. I mean, Actually, it's, it's pretty tough, and, but the accuracy level that we got was pretty good. We did some testing on the preliminaries, on the uh, campaigns of between uh, Obama and Hillary, mm -hmm. and you were 75% correct. So really? uh, yeah. it is promising. Uh, how do we do it? We do several parts. It's a lot of heuristics, but mainly for each paragraph. We identify the different statements, and then we make something called triangulation mm -hmm. to identify if there is a couple of concepts within the same paragraph. And mm -hmm. then we get into each concept, and then we cut into sentences, and then we get into each sentence, and we see the concept within the sentence. And then, based on the distance of the positive and negative keyword somebody, yeah. around that. So then there is some intelligence, but is it 100% accurate? Of course not. Do you think it's, it ever will be? It, will be once there is something called uh, validated ontology and the ontology is nothing but uh, related concepts yeah. so uh, if you're saying for example uh, blogs what is your definition of blogs and what is my definition of blog yeah. if there is an automatic dictionary that map between those concepts then uh, that can be done in the medicine area it is very well advanced actually in the genetic and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So ontology is pretty well used. Semantics is usually used. So I think in the coming five to six years, the concept of semantic will be viewed more in more detail within the industry perspective mm -hmm. rather than simply in the research arena. So it won't be as much conflict in terminology, you're saying? The or conflict will be always there. Uh, you see, if everybody follows the standards of a predefined ontology, then yes, uh, there will not be a conflict, but we all know already that there are standards, but people never follow them yeah. all so the time. I, so there will be question. In, I know in China, for example, there's been a lot